Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm good. Good. So it's been a week. I went into the hospital with some severe back pain and I had a great doctor that um, was a good detective and saw some things in my blood work he didn't like and he just kept digging and um, kind of came up with the possibility that I had multiple myeloma and then referred me here down to the Nebraska Medicine and that's where I met Dr. Holstein and started with her. Even with transplants inducing very deep responses, unfortunately patients will still relapse. So one new way to try to improve responses is to incorporate cellular therapy into the transplant. In particular, this form of cellular therapy involves a type of cells called natural killer cells. So Nancy did get her own stem cells back as part of the transplant, but the cellular product that's part of the study is actually derived from placenta cells. I talked to all my children about it and my family. We kind of listed the pros and the cons. I think after discussing it, we just felt the benefits outweighed the risks. Um, there really weren't that many risks with it. And if it gives me the opportunity to have a longer period before my Loma comes back, great. Um, it could help my family in the future. Um, it could help others in the future. We all have natural killer cells in our body. They're part of our immune system, and as their name suggests, they are part of the immune system that helps protect us and can actually help kill other cells. In particular, with a cancer like myeloma, the immune system is suppressed, and your own natural killer cells uh, are not as active as they should be. The idea with this clinical trial is to provide natural killer cells from somebody else that are active and effective, and to give them at a time when the myeloma is really beaten down, namely right after transplant. When Dr. Holstein explained to me what the natural killer cells do, and with myeloma we know it will come back, um, it just made sense that this was a great opportunity to kind of see with this treatment what, it, what the difference it would make. She's doing really well. The transplant is always rough on everybody, um, but thankfully the addition of the natural killer cell product and the extra shots um, really does not seem to have added additional toxicity to her and she's really coming along just as we would expect for somebody who's gone through a stem cell transplant. Working with her through my myeloma diagnosis and then having her lead this research project was other, probably the other piece of comfort that I had. My health was her first priority and I knew she wouldn't do anything that would put that at risk so I felt very comfortable. I think my family's been amazing. They've you know, really stepped up. I've really seen my children grow in a different way that you don't see them. Usually it's mom that's in charge, and now they've had to take care of me. She's been a real trooper, and uh, it's uh, exactly because patients like herself have, cho have chosen to participate in clinical trials uh, that we are now um, having myeloma patients live 10 years or more, uh, when even a decade ago that wasn't possible. And I do have my bad days, but um, I came, really came into it with a great attitude, and I just wanted to kick it. and. Um, you know, like I told my kids, I came here to write the rest of my life, not to write my obituary. And so I think I've just kind of kept that attitude about it, and I think that's helped along the way.